For too long, paint companies have been able to dodge responsibility for their actions. Victims of lead poisoning face long odds in trying to seek justice even when they were clearly harmed by a lead paint manufacturer. Children had to prove the exact manufacturer whose lead paint they ingested. But with the passage of time, often the paint was put in homes decades before uh, discovery of, of the harm. And because of the lack of records that the lead paint manufacturers themselves controlled, and due to the multiple number of manufacturers, it was virtually impossible uh, to overcome this hurdle of proof. And we're going to change that by following a model used in another state in Wisconsin. The problem with lead is you don't see it in most cases, except maybe in a paint chip. But it's very insidious, and it's a lot of places. Um, the Centers for Disease Control, our federal Center for Disease Control, said there is no safe level of lead. That holds true everywhere. I'm introducing AB 2074 to help children and parents receive justice for the permanent damage imposed on them and to receive the care and special services that they need. AB 2074 specifically will create a more fair legal pathway for anyone hurt by lead paint to seek justice by adopting what's known as the risk contribution theory. That's the law. That is the law in Wisconsin. It allows a plaintiff to make an initial showing of damages and causation, and then it shifts the burden to the lead paint manufacturer to show that they were not responsible. This is not only fair, but it's the least that we can do for our children, and I look forward to moving AB 2074 through the process to a signature by the governor.